Hi everyone, this is Scott White and Kibowitz, and I want to do a quick video showing how I add dimension to a photograph inside of Lightroom using the brush tool. And you can see here, there's a photo. This is actually done. I've already done the effects, but I want to show you what I did. Okay, here's the original. And you can see it's a very flat photo. This was actually made in, uh, in Maine uh, on the way up to Acadia National Park with a group of friends. And it was a rainy day. It was a disgusting day. It was foggy. It was misty. It was rainy. It was just gross. Um, and it's a really cool scene because we're actually um, on a bunch of rocks across the water from this lighthouse. And unfortunately, being so far away, you're losing a lot of detail because you've got all this fog and mist and whatnot in the way of the frame. So um, I got a very flat photo and it's very common in digital to get very flat photos. Um, even when it's not a misty day, just depending on the settings, depending on the lens and the sensor, everything, you can get flat photos. And it, so it's very common. But if you're using a raw file, uh, there's a lot of flexibility. And you, you'll see, as you can see here, I brought out a lot of detail. And of course, there's still work that can be done. But I want to show you what I did to add these dimensions. And so take a look. Um, here's the brush tool. If I click off the brush tool, you can see this is what it looks like in Lightroom. And if I click on the brush tool, you can see I've got all these different effects. And um, it's important to know that when you start to use the brush tool to double click on the effect, the word effect here, so it levels out. You can see here, let's say right now it was all set like this for something. I can double click on the word effect and everything zeroes out. Um, and you can see I've got a bunch of different brushes I've already added. So I'm going to click on the one I started with, which was this one right here. I'm going to hit the OK. You can see that this is where I actually brushed. This is where I added an effect to. And the effect I added is actually I've increased the contrast, brought down the exposure a little bit, brought down the highlights and the shadows as well. Um, so I did, I showed this mask by uh, hitting the OK. I can hit the OK again and it'll go away. Um, so that's what I did for the house here, a little bit on the house, for the greenery uh, for the most part, and this little shed over here as well. Okay, so that... Uh, just right away, it cut down. Uh, let's do it again. I'll show you. Let's do this. So this is um this is before, and this is after. This is before and after with everything. But you get the idea. Look at look how I brought out the greens with just a little bit of local adjustment. The next thing I did was I went up to the lighthouse itself, and you can see I added just on the whites of the lighthouse, and all I did was I brought down the highlight and the exposure just a little bit to break that apart from the white sky. And you can see there is a white sky over here. So um, what I did here is I actually added a little bit of blue to the sky and brought down the highlights. This is what it looked like before, basically, which is white. Uh, I'm going to undo that. So I, I added some blue to it. And it's not a solid blue. It's actually uh, got a little bit of uh, transparency to it. So it's 82% uh, for that. Um, and uh, I also added some to the water down here. So you can see down here, if I go to the water, I brushed in the water down here and added just a hint of blue, very, uh, a lot of a lot of transparency is 20, 29% over here. Um, so the blue is not perfectly solid. It just added a bit of color to it because you can see it's very gray and green and kind of gross. So um, I made it a little bit bluer. Um, and then the last thing I did was I added a little bit of red up here to the roof of this house because before it looked very flat and, and just not so attractive. So I added some contrast. Um, I brought down the highlights, brought down the exposure and added just a hint of red to it. So all these different things add different dimensions to the photo. Oh, and I almost forgot the most important one. I didn't want the lighthouse to be the main focal point of this, even though it's a big part of the subject. I actually wanted the rocks. So you can see here I painted over the rocks. And what I did was I brought up the contrast and brought up the clarity. I wanted these rocks to really pop. So that is actually where most of the dimension comes from here is I've got this really pop, you know, those rocks that pop off the screen. I've got this smooth water going on over here. And then I've got some stillness as well uh, of some just nice colors and, um, you know, how the lighthouse and the house pops off that. Now it's a blue sky instead of instead of it being just what was a white sky where it all just sort of blended in together. 
So using the brush tool, I have added multiple, multiple dimensions and it's very easy. All you gotta do is hit the new, tap on it and start brushing away anywhere you want and hit the OK and you'll be OK on your keyboard and you'll be able to see where you are painting. So you can actually start painting anything you want. And there you go. Um, you can delete those if you, you know, made a mistake. Uh, any questions, feel free to comment. But this is how I add dimension to my photographs, my landscape photographs inside of Adobe Lightroom. Thanks for watching.